The factory project is moving forward exactly as planned. The building itself has already been completed, and right now Tesla is installing the production equipment inside. This is the clearest sign, yet that the Tesla Semi Gen 2 is finally preparing to go on sale. However, since that update, Tesla has remained unusually quiet about the electric truck. There have been no major announcements, no official walkthroughs, and no new promotional footage. In fact, it has been a very long time since Tesla last released any video showing the Semi in action. The Tesla Semi was first revealed almost eight years ago, and the official delivery event happened nearly three years back. Even more surprisingly, the most recent video footage related to the Semi is already over a year old. Over time, the project has faced multiple delays for different reasons. Many people believe one major reason is Elon Musk's growing focus on artificial intelligence and full self-driving technology, which has reshaped Tesla's priorities. And the Semi is clearly part of that vision. Elon Musk has openly stated that autonomous trucking is a key step toward the future. According to him, getting self-driving trucks on the road is one of Tesla's most important goals. This focus on autonomy is also why the Tesla Semi is now expected to officially launch next year instead of the end of this year, as was originally planned. Years ago, Musk shocked the public by suggesting Tesla could eventually produce 50,000 semi-trucks per year. At the time, many people thought this number was more about creating excitement than being realistic. However, during Tesla's recent fourth quarter earnings call, the company revealed something very important. Tesla confirmed that it already has enough 4,680 battery cells and key components to support full production of the semi-line within the next year and a half. At the same time, Tesla said it is pushing semi-development as fast as possible. Even more interesting is the claim that the Semi Gen 2 has fully fixed three major design issues that were heavily criticized in earlier versions. Despite this, Tesla has not shared those details publicly. Still, some Tesla followers on X have spotted clues, including hints of a longer cabin and increased payload capacity. These small discoveries have sparked serious curiosity across the Tesla community. So what exactly are the three design problems that Tesla quietly solved? Could these improvements be the reason the Semi Gen 2 is finally ready to transform the electric trucking industry? And why is Tesla choosing to stay silent until the very last moment? Welcome to Tesla Car World. At the end of last year, Tesla officially announced that semi-production would begin this year. But since then, the company has said very little. In reality, the Tesla Semi has always been met with doubt. Many experts once believed it was impossible for a battery-powered truck to travel 500 miles on a single charge. Yet since its debut in 2017, the Semi has repeatedly proven critics wrong and forced the industry to rethink what electric trucks can do. The real challenge has never been just the truck itself. One of the biggest problems is the charging infrastructure. Building 750 kilowatt mega chargers is incredibly expensive and complex. On top of that, the Nevada factory still needs to complete its expansion to support mass production, and supply chain issues have slowed progress. And of course, there are likely other challenges that only Tesla fully understands. Even so, one thing is now clear. Despite the delays, the Tesla Semi is not cancelled. It is very much alive, and it is coming back stronger. This is the first Class 8 electric truck powerful enough to truly replace diesel trucks in real-world operations. It offers much lower operating costs, better efficiency, and significantly reduced emissions. Most importantly, Tesla claims it has achieved full self-driving capability for a Class 8 truck, something no other manufacturer has successfully done. Recently, Tesla posted a large number of job openings related to semi-production.
These positions are spread across Sparks, Nevada, Palo Alto, California, and Austin, Texas. Tesla fans on X counted nearly 90 new job listings connected to the SEMI program, including roles for technicians, software engineers, and supply chain experts. Unlike Tesla's smaller vehicles, the SEMI does not benefit from massive automation or gigapress technology. Around 70 to 80% of the truck is still assembled by hand by skilled workers. Since the original delivery event, the total number of Tesla semis in existence has remained around 300 units. PepsiCo owns 36 of them, and no additional customer deliveries have been confirmed since then. A small number of trucks remain at Tesla facilities for testing and internal use. When Tesla first revealed the semi in 2017, pricing was announced at $150,000 for the 300-mile version and $180,000 for the 500-mile version, with a $200,000 Founders Series. Those prices no longer reflect reality. Due to production complexity, battery costs, and changes in manufacturing strategy, industry analysts now estimate the 500-mile semi could cost anywhere between $300,000 and $415,000. This represents a massive increase compared to early expectations. One clear example comes from Ryder, a major logistics company. Ryder recently disclosed that changes in Tesla's pricing forced it to reduce its semi-order from 42 trucks down to just 18, even though it had already committed $7.5 million. While the higher price may slow adoption at first, it also shows Tesla is no longer selling the semi at a loss. Instead, the company is pricing it closer to its real production cost and long-term value. For fleet operators, the total cost of ownership matters more than the purchase price alone. Lower fuel costs, reduced maintenance, and improved efficiency can still make the semi financially attractive. Recently, a Tesla Semi Observer posted a close-up video showing seven electric trucks parked outside the Nevada factory for appeared to be long-range models, while three were standard-range versions. The most interesting detail was that two trucks featured dark-colored light shields, something never seen before. This raised speculation that Tesla may be testing a sleeper cab version. The front design has also changed, featuring a new light bar inspired by the Model Y and Cybertruck. Tesla has also refined the truck's aerodynamics. The windshield is smaller and more curved, reducing drag and heat inside the cabin. The truck's drag coefficient could drop from 0.36 to around 0.34, which may not sound dramatic, but even a small improvement like that can increase efficiency by up to 7%. Diesel trucks, by comparison, have drag coefficients as high as 0.70. Tesla also confirmed higher payload capacity while keeping the legal weight limit of 82,000 pounds. This suggests the semi itself has become lighter, likely due to a redesigned battery pack. Tesla plans to use 4,680 battery cells, offering higher energy density, lower cost, and better structural strength. Despite having a smaller pack, improved aerodynamics allow the truck to maintain its 500-mile range. Mega chargers remain one of the biggest obstacles. Each installation can cost up to $6 million and requires lengthy approvals and coordination with utility companies. PepsiCo alone spent nearly two years building its charging infrastructure. Still, Tesla believes this challenge is temporary. Tesla has confirmed that production expansion at Gigafactory Nevada is underway, including facilities for semi-manufacturing and 4680 battery production. Once Cybertruck production stabilizes, excess 4,680 cells could be redirected to the semi. Right now, the limited number of semis likely comes down to two reasons, charging infrastructure and an ongoing vehicle refresh. Tesla appears to be waiting for the perfect moment to reveal everything. Looking ahead, 
the real impact of the Tesla Semi Gen 2 goes far beyond specs, pricing, or even production numbers. What Tesla is attempting here is a complete reset of how heavy-duty transport works in the modern world. For over a century, the trucking industry has depended on diesel engines, noisy powertrains, and high fuel costs. Tesla is challenging that entire system at once, not gradually, but head-on. Fleet operators who have tested the semi have already reported something unexpected. Drivers feel less fatigue at the end of long routes. The quiet cabin, smooth acceleration, and centralized driving position reduce stress in ways traditional trucks never could. This alone could help solve one of the biggest problems in trucking today, driver retention. When drivers prefer the vehicle they operate, companies save money and increase efficiency without even touching fuel costs. Another underestimated advantage is software. Unlike diesel trucks, the Tesla Semi improves over time. Software updates can optimize battery usage, improve route planning, enhance braking performance, and even reduce tire wear. Over the lifespan of a Class 8 truck, these small improvements can translate into hundreds of thousands of dollars in savings. No traditional truck manufacturer offers that level of digital evolution. Then there's safety. Tesla's camera-based vision system constantly monitors the road, traffic, and surroundings. Automatic emergency braking, lane awareness, and adaptive cruise control are already reducing accident rates in passenger vehicles. Applying these systems to a fully loaded 82,000-pound truck could significantly reduce highway accidents. For logistics companies, fewer accidents mean lower insurance costs, fewer delays, and safer roads for everyone. As charging infrastructure slowly expands, the semi's advantages become even clearer. Most long-haul routes are predictable. Trucks often return to the same depots every night. This makes centralized mega-charging far more practical than many critics claim. Once installed, electricity costs are stable, unlike diesel prices that fluctuate with global events. Over time, this stability gives fleet operators better financial planning and protection against fuel price shocks. Tesla also benefits from vertical integration. The company controls its batteries, software, power electronics, and charging network. This allows faster problem solving and tighter optimization than competitors who rely on third-party suppliers. While other manufacturers are still experimenting, Tesla is refining a system that already works. The silence around the semi Gen May 2nd not be a weakness at all. Tesla has a long history of staying quiet before major rollouts. Instead of flashy marketing, the company often waits until production is ready, infrastructure is in place, and performance is locked in. When the semi finally returns to the spotlight, it may not arrive as a concept or a promise, but as a fully mature product ready to scale. And when that happens, the ripple effects will be massive. Diesel demand could drop. Maintenance businesses may need to adapt. Training programs will change. Even highway rest stops could evolve to support high power charging instead of fuel pumps. The Tesla Semi is not just a truck. It's a signal that the age of electric heavy transport has officially begun. The real question is no longer whether electric trucks can work. That question has already been answered. The new question is how fast the rest of the industry can catch up. Because once Tesla solves production and charging at scale, there may be no turning back. So as we wait for Tesla's next official reveal, one thing is certain. The Semi Gen 2 is no longer a distant vision. It's a calculated move toward a cleaner, smarter, and more efficient future for global transport. And when Tesla finally breaks its silence, the trucking world may never look the same again. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want to stay ahead of the biggest breakthroughs in electric vehicles, robotics, and future tech, make sure to subscribe to Device Dimension. We bring you clear insights, powerful stories, and the most important updates shaping tomorrow's world.
hit the like button, share this video with fellow tech fans, and turn on notifications so you never miss what's coming next. This is Device Dimension, where technology meets the future. See you in the next one.